Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome back to our unboxing of Dungeons & Dragons Icons of the Realm's 50th Anniversary Bricks. We are on the last brick. This is four out of four. Our case is coming to a close, and oh my gosh, have we opened some amazing things. I just kept a few of them out here to remind us of our journey so far. One of the most exciting pulls from the last one was, of course, Venger. We've gotten three chase figures, one per brick so far. I'm kind of beginning to think that that was probably um, the ratio. Unless there are seven chase figures in here, we're definitely not going to complete the whole set. I am still holding out hope, though, to complete the actual base 50. Um, this, though, was my favorite pull of all. This is just the iconic Ampersand Dragon. I can, this is, I once, I pulled this in our second brick, and I was just about to bawl my eyes out. This thing is just so amazing, iconic. Um, uh, so anyway, so we got a lot of stuff. There's still a lot more that we need to pull. Again, we still have seven out of the ten chase figures to find, as well as, I believe, I can't, Remember, maybe just three uh, regular figures left to find. Um, uh, one of which we still need 5th edition Vecna. 5th edition Vecna hopefully will be in here. As well as we still need both of these. We still need both 1st and 5th edition Eidolons. So it'll be interesting to see if we complete at the very least the base 50 set for the 50th edition we have some work cut out for us and as always duplicates we're always on the lookout for figures that are great in mass so goblins kobolds bugbears gnolls elves dwarves we can definitely use multiples of those. All right, here we go. We're starting with pack number one. Are we going to see something new? The, the, you know, the ability to actually see something we haven't already seen is very low right now. But you just never know when you're going to pull something new. Oh, how exciting is this? This would have been exciting, even more exciting, not too long ago. But this is the 5th edition Pit Fiend, which is still a very cool figure. Now I believe we have two 1st edition, two 5th edition Pit Fiends. These guys are very, very cool. Oh my gosh, we got a chase figure. So we're already one for one on chase figures. Maybe there's going to be more than one in this brick. Well, but I don't know. But it's Sheila, folks, from the original cartoon. Oh, this is exciting for me because... And she's got her invisibility cloak. Oh my gosh, this is super cool because, of course, Avenger. And I do have that miniature set of uh, that came with like three or four of the other figures. But we still need... Bobby, Uni, and I think that's it of the cartoon characters that we're still waiting on. Oh, and of course, Dungeon Master. Oh my gosh. I hope that doesn't mean we're missing out on Dungeon Master because we absolutely need Dungeon Master as well. But the fact that we got another cartoon, classic cartoon character is very exciting. All right. Next, we have, ooh, what appears to be a first edition Skeleton Knight. This is another one I don't mind having multiples of, because just as a generic Skeleton Knight, that is very cool. And last for this pack, I mean, I can't be disappointed with a chase in pack number one whatsoever. That's very exciting. And here is a fifth edition Kobold. So, like we were just saying, Kobolds are welcome additions to our duplicate family. All right. Well, I don't know if we're <laughs> it may all be downhill from here. That may have been our fourth and final chase, unless there's hope for more than one chase in a booster brick. You just never know. Oh boy, but we still need six more chase figures. But there's still three other figures we still need to see at some point. Oh my gosh, and this is not going to be one of them, but it is another uh, Galebrezu. 
and this is a fifth edition. And this was one that we did in the live stream compare and seemed like most people, well, I don't know. It almost seemed like it was 50, 50, if not a little bit leaning more toward the fifth edition one, actually. Um, at least in my opinion, I prefer this version over the first edition. This guy just looks more beefy, like a tank and look at those pincers. Oh my gosh. So excited to get, I think that's, is that just our second one of him? And then we also mentioned um, the Knoll. So this is the 5th edition Knoll. Excited to get more of this guy for our Knoll Warband. Here we have, I believe this is now our third 1st edition Mimic. So the 5th edition is crazy looking. This 1st edition is fairly unassuming. It is almost just a treasure chest with this fist coming out the side. All right, and last but not least, we have a first edition Blink Dog. This was one, when compared to the fifth edition, that I felt was a tie. I couldn't choose one over the other because I loved the look of the fifth edition one. It looked like a malnourished, rabid dog uh, in mid-Blink, whereas this one could just be used as just a regular old dog. But now I have a bunch of these, and so I can do like a pack of wild dogs. So that's another one I'm actually not upset about having duplicates of. Very, very cool. All right, pack number three. Is this going to contain one of the three remaining figures that I believe we still need? Even if we don't get a chase, can we at least complete the base set of 50? And we got one! Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, we got one. We got the first edition Eidolon. Oh my gosh, this is just, this completes my iconic collection. So if we didn't, if we don't get another new figure period, this completes the last of the icons for me. The last of the first edition icons. Obviously, the others being the Ampersand Dragon, the Afridi, first edition Afridi, um, the first edition uh, Gith Yankee. I mean, just all these iconic art characters that you can trace back to the various books and supplements. And this is absolutely one that I absolutely needed to have. Oh, I'm so glad that we made sure to get him. I didn't even finish pulling this out of the box yet. And we're already just losing our ever-loving minds about it. All right, so this one is a uh, fifth edition elf. I prefer the first edition because I can use a bunch of those. We did get a fifth edition already. And I feel like one of those is enough. Um, just because I love the way she looks, but I don't think she looks generic enough to have multiples of. Now, this one was also very polarizing in the live stream. I'm going to pull this back or something. Because a lot of people seem to be nostalgic for this, the first edition Bugbear. And I get it, he has that kind of iconic first edition look to him. But man, when compared to the fifth edition Bugbear, in terms of, you know, playing in a modern day game, I do have to go with the fifth edition. So we'll see if we see any more of those guys, because I definitely don't mind those. Though, now that I'm getting more of these first editions, I almost want to use them um, as their own thing. So we'll see how that works. And then I did notice that we already have our first duplicate in this uh, brick alone, which is another one of these knolls. And like I said, we can definitely use more of those guys, though I do believe I said that I prefer the first edition knoll. And I almost kind of thought that the fifth edition knoll looked almost like a knoll warlord or something that was a little bit more maybe higher in stature than the first edition um, but we still are on the lookout for a fifth edition Vecna and a fifth edition of these, um, Eidolons. Still at, unless I'm forgetting something, I may be forgetting something and maybe there's even more that we still need. Oh my gosh, we got it. Our Eidolon set is complete. Oh my gosh. Folks, I feel like we are just one figure away at this point. God, I don't want to break him. I think we're just one figure away now from having a complete set of the base set of 50. Oh my gosh, we just need 5th edition Vecna now. But this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
absolutely love it. All right, so there, and you can see like the gem pride out of its eye. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, very, very happy with that. And look, as if on cue, we do have the fifth edition bugbear. So we can put these side by side now. So as you can, so a lot of the, the other players or the other people in the live stream preferred the first edition, which I understand is a very iconic look, nostalgic look, but just as a regular fig, you know, that I want to play with, I just feel like this fifth edition is so cool. I love the double bladed axe. All right, next up we have a first edition goblin. This is again one of those figures that I absolutely don't mind duplicates of. A whole goblin warband of those guys. And lastly, we have a fifth edition skeleton knight. This is one that I also had trouble choosing which one that I preferred because they both give off different vibes. I love like this is not a human skeleton. This is like a dragonborn skeleton or something. Um, and so like the first edition is very stoic, very human skeleton knightish. And the fifth edition is like this crazy marauder. And so, yeah, I, ab I actually really like them both. I don't know if I can choose a favorite between them, though. I think I said previously that I was leaning toward leaning toward the fifth edition. All right, we're halfway through this brick and we have like struck gold so far. We've done really well. We've already gotten a chase. We've gotten, I don't know how many, at least two of the three figures that we're still looking for. Oh, you know how much my day would be made if we actually got a second chase in one of these bricks? I just don't know if it's possible, but... So, before I even look at this, I think we're done with the big figs. We have all... To my recollection, we have all of the big figs. So whatever the big figs are from now on are going to be duplicates, as far as I can tell. All right, and it looks like that is the case. Because this is only our second one of these, but this is a uh, Key Rin, and this is the 5th edition Key Rin. Very cool looking figure there. And then we actually have two of the same figure, 1st and 5th edition of the Lemurs. And uh, we can compare those immediately. So the group live stream group seem to prefer the first edition. Again, it had a little bit of a cartoony face in my opinion. I did prefer the fifth edition just because it looks really bizarre and looks like it's a, a melting pile of sludge. <laughs> but I like the hands and it looks like it can like choke you. Ah, all right, anyways. And then... This, I believe, is only... It may actually be our third one of these. So this is the 5th edition Gith Yankee. And I mean, if this Gith Yankee was being compared to any other figure, I might go with this one because this guy looks really cool. But when, but when its competition is the iconic Fiend Folio art Gith Yankee, I mean, there is no competition at that point. Why? Like, what are we looking at? Why is this not focusing well? All right. I mean, come on. you got to go with the first edition there, though the fifth edition is still very, very cool. Okay, that was all of those guys. All right, only three left. Three left of the case to find a fifth edition Vecna. Is fifth edition Vecna in here somewhere, please? We're about to find out. All right, so the... Oh, my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys. We I believe we've done it. Not him. Him. I believe we've done it. I believe we now have a complete set of the 50 figures because here is the 5th edition Vecna done. Collection essentially complete apart from the chase figures. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled. It took us almost the entire set to get to this point. Here is, and now I can show you how I feel about the Knolls, because here's the 5th edition Knoll, here's the 1st edition Knoll. I just prefer the 1st edition. 
I prefer the first edition null. I just love the equipment, all the weapons it has, and the overall just kind of look compared to this more violent looking no, I still like them both, but I think I do prefer the first edition. I'm happy to have another one of those. And this is hilarious. Well, let's get to this Blink Dog first. So this is the fifth edition Blink Dog. So you can see it is in mid-blink. As I mentioned before, it kind of looks like a malnourished, rabid fox almost. But still, love the look of it. And uh, yeah, I think they both have their place. It was tied for me. And then the Green Slod First Edition. If we see, we only have two packs left. Do I have a 5th Edition handy? No, not really. Because I was going to compare and contrast. Because this is probably the figure with the biggest disparity between 1st and 5th Edition. Because 5th Edition just blows this one out of the water. This one does have its place. And maybe some of you 1st Edition players can say have horror stories about your party encountering a green slot, but, and I feel like I could definitely use this as some kind of swamp encounter guy, but just when you compare it to the fifth edition version, I just don't think there is a comparison. All right. Next second to last. So I think we found everything. Have we found everything? We have all of this stuff. We have the Ampersand Dragon, we have 5th Edition Morden Kane, and we have the Bugbear, the Mimic. We have both 1st and 5th Edition Vecnas. We have the Gith Yankees, the Shadow Demons, the Strahds, the Eidolons. We have the Red Dragon. We don't have these two. These are Chases. I want them both, and I also want the Warrior figure, and I want Bobby, and I want Uni, and I want Dungeon Master, but sadly, those Chase figures are probably not going to happen if it is truly just one per booster. We're about to find out, though. So, essentially, these last two packs are more than likely all duplicates, unless there's a figure that I forgot totally about or something. All right, and it looks like we have a Glabrezu. Oh, yeah, so here we go. So we can compare. This is a first edition Glabrezu, and you can see it looks bizarre. Look at those arms on its chest. Like, that's crazy, right? They're very pronounced. Here is the fifth edition Glabrezu. Still has those arms, but they're more out of the kind of the sides than the... Um, chest area and when comparing the two of them like what else could you possibly be focusing on the plastic wrap like what are you doing um come on there you go it is i just think it's fifth edition all the way here now the first edition definitely looks pretty demonic but the fifth edition just looks like a tank so that is at least my opinion on that just kind of a cursory glance at these last guys. We have another first edition bugbear. We have, for the first time in this set, a dwarf. This is the fifth edition dwarf. I think I, I definitely go with the first edition dwarf when comparing the two, though I do like the fifth edition dwarf as well. I definitely prefer the weapon on the fifth edition dwarf. And then last but not least, a first edition kobold. So we can compare a first edition kobold with its shield and spear to the fifth edition kobold. And I feel like they still go very well together, even though there's different facial designs. I still believe that the fifth edition and first edition kobolds will work well together in a just generic kobold war band. All right. It's all down to this. What could possibly be in here that we would be excited about? We've got, we've, I believe we've completed the set of 50. Oh, we've got four out of the 10 chase figures. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to go out and buy the other six. That's going to be expensive because, again, those are between $30 and $40 a piece. So let's just, let's just crack open. What do we got? 
What do we have? And if it is duplicates, please be duplicates of something that I actually want. All right, here. Oh. 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 My. Gosh. We got a second chase figure in a brick. It is possible. Oh. My. Gosh. We got uni. Oh. My. Gosh. This is freaking amazing are you kidding me we threw the poor flail snail to the side this is the first edition flail snail i definitely preferred the fifth edition though i love the detail on the flails of the first edition and this just color scheme just screams nostalgia right first edition D, &D nostalgia before we go back to uni let's look at the as uh, these other two poor souls that have to compete with getting a second chase figure in a booster pack what a way to end it oh my gosh for another first edition kobold always can use more kobolds and last but not least looks like another fifth edition dwarf so our dwarf army is growing by leaps and bounds. But folks, we got another chase. We got two chases in a single brick. It is possible. You've seen it here. We now have half of the chase figures. Sheila and Uni are reunited. We need Bobby, though, to complete the cartoon. And of course, Venger always out to get them. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. How more perfect could that be that we ended like that oh my gosh so here are our five chase figures we found five of the ten very excited about that we still need the other five and i believe we have all 50 figures now from the actual base set. Well, I had an absolute blast unboxing these. The live stream was fantastic. And these other four solo videos that I'll be uploading one at a time were just so much fun. It's been a while since I've unboxed these kind of booster pack random blind draw things. And yeah, it's just been an absolute blast. Well, folks, there's still so much more to come. I won't get into all that now. Just keep an eye on the channel. But as always, folks, thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. Happy 50th anniversary to Dungeons & Dragons. And until next time.